the start of the Pro Drill Cup Tournament number 56. It's none other than Nekodiru against Ibushi Gin. Let's rock indeed. Let me check real quick if the... If the audio level is perfect. It is. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, here we go. So, immediate burst freaking punish from Nichols. You know, and look at the damage. Chip's life has been effectively been erased. And already Ibushigin, unfortunately, stuck in the wall. Couldn't quite get out of this quite sticky situation. First round goes to Nekojiro-san, and Nekojiro-san prone to troll a lot, especially during the first rounds of the tournaments. Very nice instant block right there from Nekojiro, he couldn't quite punish the Sukiyaki, but it's still okay. Finally, Nekojiro forced to pop the burst, and again with the slider head to push and to force Chip on the floor. Here we go with the meaty and the big Garuda impact right there into the wall break. This is going to be a positive bonus. For, oh, and here we go with the BRC from Ibushi Andy, my lord. The overdrive cancel into the grab by Nekozido to secure the first round. Uh, well, three games in a row. Actually, if he wants to, well, win it. Also, okay, somebody called me already. Oh. What? What? Yeah, your match is not stream. Your match is not stream. Please proceed to play it. Uh, wrong. Um. Yes, you can change. If you're a phone freak, just one second. I have I have some trouble shooting. If your opponent agrees to you changing, it's in good faith. Then ah uh, yes, you can change. Yes, you may change your character. Yes, you may do anything. Okay, so sorry for the wait. I had some troubleshooting to do. Yo, Hagma, how are you doing? Surprise indeed. Welcome to the Bro Throw Cup. Okay, hopefully I won't have any other issues. Okay, I really hope it's gonna be the case. The case. And here we go with the Suki Suki Yaki and the big grab from Nikozito and the wake up DP from. Ibuki Gin and oh almost got it Ibushi Gin actually Okay here we go with Ibushi Gin probably prone to wanted to kill his opponent with a Shiriken Yeah definitely not the Oh my lord <laughs> That was unfortunate Yeah I'm good still salty about no GGS Yeah I know right this was a big 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 uh unfortunate event if I might say and that big heavenly Podimkin Buster for the kill. That was huge, man. Very, very nicely done. That was big. That was big. Not gonna lie. Your match is streamed. Please read. So please do not start. Okay, and here we go with the have I'm sorry, I have a lot of troubleshooting to do today. Uh friendly people have some problems understanding my directives. So yeah, I'm sorry, I have some troubleshooting to do. It should be okay, I think, probably. Okay, I think that could be it. Here we go with the big Garuda Impactor, and this should 
kill. Actually, yes, this is gonna kill. Lord, and a very, very dominating set. Oops, that this time around don't have any other troubleshooting to do. No, it should be okay. Nobody called me. It's perfect. It's perfect. Okay, Daddy Nass. Daddy Nass. Daddy Nass. Okay, it's okay. Daddy Nass. I hopefully he's gonna present himself sooner rather than later. Okay, we'll see. It should be okay. Okay, and here we go with the second match. None other. Oh, nice. A Bridget. A brisket. I love seeing some brisket action right there. And a quick dive from RF immediately at the start of the round. Let's see how he deals with this new character, which just came out quite recently. I do believe that with the amount of uh, time that RF actually spent playing this game, he probably already came up with some pretty successful strategies to uh, neutralize uh, brisket. So let's see how this pans out. As of now, RF is definitely playing a very, very uh, strong zoning game, as uh, most plus players should, actually. And a very big dive counter hit right there with, oh, Brisket and Exia actually, using the Aerial Overdrive, the Fiery Roger to try to punish RF from throwing things from his, uh, from his uh, Kabam. Yo, a Narian, welcome. How are you doing, man? Welcome back. And here we go, very nice sweep right there from RF, caught Exia off of their feet. No juggle on the uh, air to air right there, the air to air counter hit that Exia benefited from, but still get okay, okay, very nice with punish from RF. On point when it comes to this. And here we go with RF using the hammers to keep Exia away and also using this opportunity to secure not one but two trumpets. And here we go with the trumpet pin down that RF benefited from. He takes the first round extremely convincingly. Let's see how Exia will adapt to this situation. First round goes to RF. Okay, and here we go with the dive and the enormous weight on the head of Exia. And Little Faust still hasn't been triggered. There's ah, but he's getting closer and closer. And unfortunately for Exia, he triggers it because of the uh, corner pressure that RF was exerting right there. Very nice juggle, right? He's always gonna get a... He's definitely gonna get a wall break. It's not gonna kill. Oh, he still has one chin for Exia to try to bring it back. Moody Roller. Oh, he goes for the high mix-up. Unfortunately for him, RF was definitely on point with the punish. Let's see how this pans out. Go. Run up. Oh, a little bit too far for the rock the baby that everybody loves. Me the first. And RF secures the trumpet yet again. And here we go again with the the corner pressure, the relentless corner pressure from RF and the immediate overhead. It's gonna quite connect with the spear, but it's still okay. He still has the ground positioning and the super. What is this? What is this? Oh, and the air to air. The actual block from RF that blocked the attack from Exia, and Exia got hit by the hammer that RF had preemptively uh, threw, uh, which landed right on top of his head. So let's see if Exia has uh, some pocket character that he might resort using in order to, uh, to win. So let's see, character change? Yeah, probably character change. Let's see how this pans out. Yeah. Oh lord, okay, okay, here we go, the king of the jungle, King Leo himself, let's see how this pans out. Okay, we don't see a lot of Leos in our uh, in this tournament, so I'm actually looking quite forward to see how this will go. Yeah, so, um, uh, former Leo main, I suppose, in that particular case. Let's see how he manages to contain this storm of randomness that is RF. There you go, immediate use. Oh, and no punish on the landing attempt of RF. There you go. Already RF making very, very good choices depending on the item that came out. Unfortunately for him, uh, Exia was able to get the trumpet, but it's still okay. RF maneuvering around it, and thanks to the Roman cancel extension, he should secure the win. And here we go again with the spear for the wall break and the inevitable death. Leon. <laughs> you may be able to prolong your life, but it's not like you're gonna escape your inevitable death, is it? Props to whoever can find 
uh, what quote this is, well, what game this quote is from. Anyways, here we go with RF using a very, very, very efficient zoning game right there. Manages to secure a knockdown, and again, with all of the items, all of the zoning, and RF on point with everything that's coming his way. This time around, Exia throwing in the heavy fireball and still cannot get to pin RF down. Is that the correct choice? We shall see. Oh, okay, finally has something going. He has the trumpet and RF waking up with buttons at the correct timing and just like this secures a clean. Everybody makes mistakes. And I mean, I can't reef one, so why not do it? <laughs> you can use it for another one. Uh, song request, it was awesome. Yeah, we go. Perfect. Okay, here we go. Immediate Bandit Bringer from the start of the match by Ice Stater and Daddy Nass finding the actual the opening with a grab. Could not add the song. Okay, that is strange. That's the one. Okay, let me check. You might need to uh, find a different link though, because this one doesn't work better. Necessary discrepancy. Uh, rock and roll, rock hard moon. What's the name? You need to find a different link. This this link doesn't work apparently. Is it uh, Guilty Gear OST Scribe? Rock Rock and Roll Part. Wait, just one second. Let me check. Yeah, it's the same. Okay. I'll try a different link. But it's it's probably the same the same uh, the same song. Let me, see. Let me check it out. Hopefully it's gonna work. Okay, here we go. Is that the one you wanted? Hopefully it is. Okay, here we go with the Lin Sengeki. I am a freaking trouble shooter. <laughs> I can troubleshoot, manage uh, tournament scores in bracket, manage commentating. Well, commentating not so much because I still have to look out for other th things while I'm working. But I am a freaking multitasking god. <laughs> Okay, here we go with the Bandit Bringer and the grab from Aishu Karakoso. And here we go with the big, big, big pressure from Aishu to finding the opening. Finally, forcing Nas to pop the burst. But still, Aishu already... Oh, and a, a great burst from Aishu. <laughs> a very bad burst from Aishu, but it's still okay. He still has some health left in order to deal with this storm. With this... Oh lord! And the wild throw! And the Fafnir for more pressure! And I still going ham! But gets grabbed by Daddy Nass! And Daddy Nass, is he gonna close it? No, he drops it! But it's still okay! Manages to find the opening with the rainwater into the wall break and death! Okay, and here we go with the uh, second round actually of the uh, second match. Okay, and here we go, back to the neutral, and Aishiro finds the opening, the jump in, and the Fafnir again to continue the pressure, but Daddy Nass, pressing buttons at the correct moment, finds the opportunity to reverse some of the momentum that Aishiro is trying to uh, bring back to himself, and here we go, the Bandit Bringer, nice button pushes from that. oh, and that air to air, that reaction air to air, but the big vortex from Aishiro counter hit, plus... Okay, finally forces Nas to pop the burst, and here we go with the standing P for the win. Daddy Nas puts another one on the board and leads to 2 nil. Let's see if Ice Teru can manage to find a way to reverse this this very, very, very uh, dominating uh, lead from Daddy Nas. Here we go with the nice tech right there from Daddy Nas, and again the tech, man. Daddy Nas definitely on point. Go with the 2k 2d, but oh, and again, the, the great burst. <laughs> well, the unfortunate burst from Ice Teru. Uh, Daddy Nas takes this opportunity to not only side switch but punish his opponent. And here we go with the wall break. Daddy Nas out of tension, but on with the positive bonus. And that being said, very nice. Oh, unfortunate drop from Ice Teru. He still has the corner positioning, so it's definitely not over till it's over. And the very, very good jumping S into the rainwater for the kill by Daddy Nass. Manages to make him uh, uh, manages to make it to game point in favor of Daddy Nass. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, and the jump in from Nass, man, this dude, the cojones, the actual who doesn't play passive. 
but the big vertex for the opening but I should unfortunately badly times his medium wake up and gets grabbed by Nas. Ooh, and the big 2HS counter hit is this not it's not gonna kill actually here we go with the snail into the wall break positive bonus and the jump in uh, thankfully stopped and prevented by Ice Tidu who uses the 6P here we go again with the vortex roaming cancel to make it safe and finally Nas finding the opening with Island Testament versus Japanese action. Let's see how this pans out. I actually have no idea who uh, who has the uh, advantage in this matchup. Probably Axel, I'd say, but I'm not quite sure. That being said, here we go. Start of the match and Oswin are already taking a little bit of his distance. Well, that being said, take, take, well, you need to really, really think about your jump-ins when you're playing in somebody as good as Takarin. And here we go already with Takarin getting quite the hefty lead already uh, about 15 seconds in and Takarin already uh, in uh, the lead. Okay, here we go. Another thing that I need to ban. This is for... Uh, how do you ban this here? Ban, here we go. Okay, I need to add a new uh, a new rule for my bot so that he can ban this shit as well. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, that module? Uh, spam position. And here we go, the first round goes to Takarin. Very nicely done. And here we go with the Lensengeki from Takarin doing a very very good job of keeping Ashwin R away. That being said, here we go again with the 2HS counter hit and the Roman cancel to get the extension. He couldn't quite get the juggle unfortunately but Ashwin R probably as surprised as I was that uh, Takarin didn't get the extension. Uh, well, resorted to just blocking instead of trying to punish right there. That being said, here we go. Ashwin R finally getting something going. He has, he had the stained state. Fortunately for him, Takanin managed to get out of this sticky situation and now resorting to zone his opponent out. Doing a very, very good job at doing so. And here we go with the 2H for the kill. Very nicely done by Takanin. Okay, here we go with the. Okay, here we go with the Lensengeki trying to keep Oswin R out of range. And uh, unfortunately, too far to get the 2D conversion right there for the knockdown. And Takarin, very nice juggle. Already has Oswin R in the corner. And again with the juggle, man. Unfortunately, drops the combo yet again. It's still okay, just resorting to use this far P and the jumping back S for the kill and just like this Takanin is up 2-2-0 how is Ashwin R going to answer how is he going to find a way to reverse the momentum we shall see in the next episode let's see how this turns out and immediate just run up straight probably attempt to grab right there from Ashwin R and virtually gets scooped out by Takarin and the close S again with the jumping S ah, and a big 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 2 HS punish right there from Takarin Still doing a very good job of keeping his opponent out of uh, out of his hair, people might say. Just one second. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're good, we're good. Here we go with the jumping and the 2k uh, pops the... Pops the... Uh, oh, finally, Oswin are forced to pop the burst, but Takarin definitely in the lead when it comes to resources, has both the burst had the RC but used it to get an extension for more damage and the fake cross up for the kill. Takarin on match point. Let's see how Ashwin R. Are Ashwin R. Ashwin R. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. Sorry, we're in tournament. We cannot this. Yeah, we can't stall the, uh, the the match. Okay, here we go. Ashwin R. Unfortunately for him, I don't I probably thought that it was over. I suppose. But that being said, here we go back in the match and the big snail right there from Takarin has Oswin R exactly where he wants 
and the air tour. No air tour actually both opponent whipping each other. Ashwin R finally got the stain stayed, but Takarin doing a very good job of using the RC to maneuver out of the air and out of arm's way. Ah, and on point when it came to Oh to punish the teleport attempt. That's all. But it's okay. Yeah, I'm a professional anyways. They don't listen! They don't listen! How can I read this kid? Okay, here we go. Start the prediction. Okay, and start the prediction. Nicholas Little against Nash. Oh, let's just put Nash. Okay. Oh, who's gonna win? You are the ones to decide. And here we go with the Mega Fist right on top of. Daddy Nas, but Daddy Nas using the two HS and unfortunately gets scooped by the first. Here we go with Nico Jiro making a good, good, good use of the punish. Perfect punish by Nico Jiro. Oh, he's going for the extension station, keeping Daddy Nas in the corner, and this is gonna do actually. Damn. Oh, look at the damage. Unfortunate for Daddy Nas. He <laughs> attacked the. The, uh, the Aegis re Reflector, very very important for him, here we go with the air grab by Nicol Zero and gets the, uh, the uh, position swap as well, combined with again the, not again, but with the uh, Pot Buster right there, this did a huge amount of damage. Nicol Zero with a very very nice lead, and then he is trying to find the opening, the jump ins, everything. But yeah, Nicol Zero remaining extremely, extremely solid right there, here we go with the Oh, and he went for a quick grab, unfortunately for him. Daddy Nas was on point. You will not kill me with a quick dust. And very nice slider head right there from Nicol Ryu. Quickly gets the first match. Let's see how Daddy Nas manages to shift the momentum. That was actually pretty freaking convincing. Not going to lie. Here we go, start of the second round. How is this going to pan out? We shall see. And somebody calling for me in the back. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. No problem. And here we go with the perfect from Nicolas, you know, again with the Mega Fist. That was a disrespect, but it's still okay. Okay, and anyways, here we go. Ooh, an early 6P right there. And unfortunately for Nicolas, you do. Uh, well, Daddy Nas actually took advantage of that, but just as I say this, Nicolas really finds the opening with the Bottom Kim. Buster, this did a huge amount of damage just like this. Nico Jiro is in the lead. He's gonna get the wall break and a positive bonus. We go. Nice heat knuckle. Oh, no air to air right there. A little bit too far. And no entire punish right there. For oh my lord, and just let it rip. This is gonna be a big punish. Good stuff from Daddy Nash. He does not have any more resources. This is his last leg to stand on. He gets the empty jump. The empty low and unfortunately for him gets scooped by the uh, Mega Fist. Second match goes to Nicol Jiro as well. Daddy Nas definitely not looking completely one-sided this match is, but slightly in favor of Nicol Jiro. Nicol Jiro finding the extra hit every single time. Very nice juggle from Daddy Nas. It did a lot of damage actually, all things considered. No entire. And here we go with Daddy Nas trying to put some distance between him and his opponent. Very nice use of the flick right there from Nicolo Zero. Almost got scooped and killed. And here we go with the juggle. And this is, a, ooh, almost was a perfect. Good stuff from Daddy Nas. This is definitely working in uh, the favor of the uh, motivation. It's a very huge motivation factor to get such a convincing win after losing two sets in a row. Well, two matches in a row. So. Let's see if, yeah, and you can see that, yeah, Nas definitely feeling himself right now. Very nice wall break using the Axel Bomber, and just like this, he's on the verge of actually bringing it. And again, yeah, two snails in a row, unfortunately for him. Oh, that was close. Oh no, command grab right there from, well, actually a command grab attempt from Daddy Nas, and just like Nico Zero on point with his, his anti air punishes right there, and a wake up 2K2D from Nas for the freaking win and just like this daddy nas is up well, finally puts one on the board first and foremost and hopefully he'll be able to continue this um well this trend and eventually put one more 
No entire again. Well, it's hard to entire. Paul that did pretty good angle, not gonna lie. Here we go with the slider head. Wow, that was a very nice gold burst. And here we go with the uh, basic B and B and B again with the entire from Nikozito. You cannot jump on this man and using the RC to get the extension, but not only the extension, but also the corner. Well, the side switch for once and the uh, wall break for twice with the positive bonus. Here we go. Ooh, very nice jump in by Daddy Nass. Oh, here we go. Back to the neutral. Oh, and this is going to be an air grab by Nico Giri. I actually loves doing this here. He goes for the media this time around. Very nice jump back from Daddy Nass. Is he going to get the kill a little bit? Oh, and he actually gets the kill with the OTG. Very nicely done. He's one round away from putting uh, one more on the board and uh, well oh again with the 6p man and wake up 2k2d from daddy nas daddy nas definitely feeling himself definitely needs this one and the wake up grab by daddy nas man not afraid and again with nickel you pressing buttons right there this is gonna do a lot of damage actually is this nice nah, i'm gonna kill thank you very much for the guts uh, yeah it's gonna okay nice air tech by daddy nas and gets the kill with the follow-up of the lensengeki daddy nas putting one more on the board and we have a match ladies and gentlemen this is the first time actually during this tournament that we see anything other than a two than a 3-0 so i'm actually quite relieved let's see how this pans out very nice slider head right there from nikoshiru she bays the burst and pushes daddy nas in the corner using the garuda and the reset with the stagger from the 4S into a uh, Kara command grab. Very nicely done, Manico. You managed to get the first round. Okay, here we go with. Oh, Daddy Nas finally, finally manages to punish the Mega Fizz. What the hell was that? What hurtbox? Where are you? Hitbox? What are you doing? Uh oh. And the tech again from Daddy Nas. Definitely on point. And here we go with the side switch. Oh, when the raw dust for the opening, and Nikozito again using a lot of and of Mega Fist. Oh no, enter in! Oh my lord, the stagger and the Mega Fist and the uh, Potemkin. Oh, and the mini Garuda impact for the kill. And just like this, Nikozito takes on to the second winner's semi-final match of this evening is going to be none other than Takarin against RF. A big, big, big match. Here we go. Oh lord, and here we go, the jump in from Takarin, and immediately our trying to put some distance between him and Takarin, but Takarin doesn't want to hear anything about it. You have to eat my psycho. And here we go with the dive kick from RF. Unfortunately for him, got adequately punished by Takarin. Oh, mini Faust is in the club. Protects his father. And here we go with RF with the wake up. Not wake up, actually. With the mini grab on the wake up of Takarin. Goes with two instant overhead in a row finally finds the opening go back to neutral there he has the hammer it's hammer time ah oh, that nice punish on the mix 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 right there from rf is this gonna kill it's probably gonna kill oh no and the otg a little bit lackluster right there oh and just like this rf is not gonna get the rc extension in order to uh, secure the kill and a far kill is going to secure the kill but not for rf this time around uh, Takani takes the first round. Let's see how this pans out. They're going to jump in. And no, Takani refuses to stay on the ground. Okay, here we go. A little bit too far to get the punish on the spear. Kill in Sengeki. Oh, okay, here we go. It's going to be. Yep, the bomb toss, the tennis court. Okay, no punish on the snail right there. It's quite unfortunate. Nikozito san, Yombate. Indeed. Here we go with the instant overhead again from RF. He's gonna get the wall break into the positive bonus. Oh, here we go the quick scarecrow RC. Um, oh, no, a little bit too far to get the dust. Very nice dive kick right there from RF. Gets the counter hit into death. Okay, one round apiece. Who is going to take this match? Okay. Complete neutral game right there. Very nice to hit his counter hit right there from Takarin San Entire. Oh, here we go. Footsies, footsies. Oh, a little bit too late to get the extension on the counter hit after the uh, dive kick. <laughs> here we go with the snail interrupted by a falling hammer. RF 
Definitely wanting to close the gap, wanting to get this command grab. Okay, he does get... It. Oh my lord, so many super items right there. Hakarin using the RC extension to grab that trumpet and force RF in the corner. Try to go for a late rainwater to bait a... Uh, potentially a grab or have a reaction from RF and just like this he gets the kill with the Len Sengeki. Good stuff, first match goes to Takari, very convincingly, not going to lie. Okay, we go on to the second battle, let's see if RF can find some sort of solution. Try to reverse this momentum. Okay, we go for now using the, uh, the dive gate to close the gap. Okay, Lin Sengeki doing a good job of entering said, uh, said dive kick. There's a lot of hammers right there. As you know, with the hammer, it's really hard to secure a um, to secure an approach. Oh, yeah. Alright, doing a good job of pushing ever so slightly Takarin in the corner, but Takarin doing a very good job of zoning, not gonna lie. Here we go with the quick dust into the Roman Cancel extension, he's gonna get the Axel Bomber, the wall break, and just like this, manages to uh, seal this round. Here we go again with the dive kick counter hit from RF, finds the opening, ooh, and that jump in from Takarin gets the extension with, hold the juggle, with the command grab, yes you can juggle with the command grab with this character. Oh, okay, here we go. Takarin again secure. Oh, but the badly timed empty low, I suppose, or probably empty jump, I suppose, into grab. Uh, from Takarin made it so that he got grabbed by RF instead, and RF is definitely running a train right there. Oh, Lord, almost got hit by the bomb. Still okay. Here we go. With the mix, 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 RF pushing Takarin in the corner. Takarin, wow, you find me the absolute best timing to press 2 HS right there. Forces RF off of him. But look at this risk bar, and just like this is gonna do a lot of damage on RF into the overdrive. This is definitely going to kill. Bye bye, here's your wheelchair, sir. We are going to need it for the third match. Uh, for the for the second, the third round, I'm sorry. And here we go, very nice jump in by RF, and that instant block though from Takarin san a little bit still uh, too much into the pressure for him to press any sort of button in order to punish RF, but that being said, here we go back to neutral, and Takarin's are doing a good job of just backdashing out of the range of that, uh, that, that, um, how do you call it, that, uh, dive kick. Again, very nice jumping by Takarin, and using the standing key to blow that mix, mix, mix away. Okay, finally, RF finding an opening. Ooh, still goes for the, uh, the instant dust, but... Takarin aware, just bagdashes out and punishes accordingly to secure the second match as well. Oh, there we go on to the third match potential, final match of this set, we shall see. And here we go with the snail. Very nice jump in again, oh that just, that instant block right there from Takarin using the uh, pushback from the FD to put even more distance between him and RF. But RF really trying his best to try to close the gap. Finally finds the opening. He's got, oh, he drops the combo. This is really, really uncharacteristic. But still, okay, he's going to get the wall break. Nevertheless, positive bonus. Okay, here we go back to Lin Sengeki mode. RF trying to read some sort of reaction from uh, Axel. Probably a uh, second Ren Sengeki. That being said, it definitely worked out in the end. Gets the first round of this, uh, this match. Oh lord, and that big punish on the spear, using a very, very, very clean 6 uh, six p Again with the spear. Oh, catches the back dash, and just like this, oh, Takarin in the corner has to, uh, has to endure all of this pressure, all of this pressure, man. Alright, holding on to his tension bar, doesn't want to use the overdrive, probably wouldn't have been enough damage to kill anyways. Here we go with the 2P, Takani ah, trying to slow things down, definitely feeling that the momentum is uh, in favor of RF. Oh, here we go with the dive kick again with the mix mix, catching the back dash and the badly timed uh, burst. Well timed, it was rather RF using the low profile of Faust to go under the burst and punishing accordingly and secure this third match. Here we go RF staying alive, badly timed uh, um, snail right there, adequately punished by RF. Go with RF. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Tried to catch that donut. Unfortunately for him, it disappeared a little bit too early. 
And here we go, the command grab. Finally, one command grab was placed. Here we go. Wow. And the burst finally are right, forced to pop the burst. Takarin has had a huge uh, streak of luck securing these trumpets, man. Again, a badly timed. Oh, Lord, how did Takarin manage to block this, man? Okay, you're a little bit late on that 6P attempt from Takarin. It's scooped by the dive kick. Here we go, RF back to the zoning game. They're trying to search for a good option right there using a full screen dive kick. No punish from Takarin. Finally finds the opening with the exploding head. Oh lord, and these just defend from Takarin have been crazy good, man. And here we go, RF unfortunately. Oh, in prison because of his own banana. That being said, here we go, we are on set point. Let's see how Takarin, if Takarin manages to close it out. Oh, okay, here we go with RF trying to catch the back that from Takarin using the spear. But Takarin, oh lord, just running right beneath RF and catching him on his way down. He activates Mini Faust far away to at least get rid of him. Here we go, very nice conversion. Oh, drops a combo a little bit too far from the wall to get the follow up. And again, Takarin on point when it comes to 6 p.m. D Spears attempt from RF. RF definitely in good position right there. He does have Mini Faust right behind him. Oh, and Mini Faust activated. What the hell? Takarin even managed to block this and now is impossible. And Takarin has been on point with punishing the Mix Mix Mixes attempt from RF so consistently. And here we go. The, oh, here we go. The punish and RF. Oh, Lord. Slips on his own banana. Yeah, this wall, man. Takarin has been a wall, man. A wall of, of attrition. <laughs> Thank you very much for the follow stars and welcome to the pro jump. Again, with the far spear trying to really catch any type of startup from Takarin. Oh, again, Takarin on point and just like this, Takarin takes it. Well, hopefully, I am not really, really. Okay, here we go with uh, the start of the round and Exe immediately finding the opening with the R uh, H and Ekidona already having a little bit of a hard time trying to deal with this pressure. Okay, trying to back dash and put some distance between him and his opponent. Catches finally his opponent. And oh, forces the burst upon them. Very nice air maneuvering right there from Ikodono. Finds the opening. Okay, again with the opening. Lord, a little bit too far. Gets hit by the far H. Oh, by Exe and the double rock the baby for the kill. Exe has killed it. But still, okay, don't no worry. Okay, here we go with the air to air. Very nice conversion right there from Exe. He's gonna get the. Wow, that is a sick freaking. A very nice setup right there from Exe. Unfortunately for him, Ikidona was already aware of it and he goes ham himself. He's probably gonna go. Oh, MTO this time around. Here we go with the delayed IAD. He's gonna get the wall break. No use of the. Um, the oh, and a, a blue Roman cancel into the grab. The gold old BRC uh, grab for the win. Very nice done by Ikidona. Finally pops the burst, by the way. Here we go with Exia using one of his yo-yo to kill the top from uh, from Ilya. Oh, and here we go, Exia full on onslaught gets the grab, catches the the uh, catches the um, catches Milia not blocking low thanks to the 2s. Oh, here we go, rollerblades to close the distance. Okay, he's gonna go for the up down mix. This is a down and just like this, Exia takes the first round very convincingly by the way good stuff from Exo. Ekidona definitely not no stranger to the to the no stranger to the brisket matchup there we go very nice start of the round by Ekidona oh try to find the opening they didn't quite commit but unfortunately get scooped out of the air thanks to the 2HS from brisket a very nice uh, juggle right there from Ekidona unfortunately Edia still had their burst oh and again with that pickup from oh and the wake up dp by exit it had to come eventually let's go donna madonna okay oh my lord that was cheeky very nicely done by exia finally you don't have force to pop the yrc 
And Xavier going low this time around. Oh lord, lord that conversion. Xavier definitely relentless in his pressure. Gets the first round of the second match. Oh lord. Okay, he goes for the empty low this time around. Okay, Ekidona finally using the 6p2 entire exit out of the air. He goes for a cross up this time around. Double. Well, delayed IAD and he gets the pickup after the Rose. Oh, again with the wake up DP by Exile. Oh, Lord. And the air to air, the trade by both players. A pretty hefty health lead by Ekidona, but it definitely can just friggin. It can disappear in a split second. Here we go with the schmixes of Brisket in the corner. Exia doing a very good job of keeping that pressure on and existing. Very nice challenge right there from Exia again with that rock the baby for the win. Good stuff from Exia. Up to the zero. Ikidona definitely needs to change something from his uh, gameplay if he wants to stay in uh, the tournament. If not, it might be over for him. We shall see. And here we go with the. Uh, the jump in by oh lord okay my lord where are you Ikidona definitely going ham when it comes to the air maneuvering definitely does not want to be predictable nice jump out from Ikidona he would have been caught in this 50-50 situation good blocks also by Ikidona and here we go with the rollers catches the jump out attempt and look at that conversion that did a hell of a lot of damage and just like this Exia is on match point let's see how this pans out nice jump in by ekidona oh he goes for an empty low this time around finds the opening again this time around with the cross up finds the opening okay ekidona definitely finding stuff you know finding opening but just cannot manage to seal the deal goes for the cross up yet again finds the opening and the big 6 speed counter hit this time around exia very quick to close the distance Ah, doing a very good job of being extremely mobile. Oh lord, and that... Oh, and the cross-up for the kill. Finally, Kidona putting one round on the board. Definitely needs a couple of them if she wants to stay alive. Okay, try to bait the DP, but Exia being a very, very uh, reasonable, actually. Very nice jump in from Kidona. Here we go with the cross-up again. Forces Exia to pop the burst. Exia. <laughs> Okay, here we go with... Oh, this is not gonna kill, unfortunately, for Ikidona. Curse damage. Woo! And the start of the round with Fire Roger and Exia trying to bait that burst, man. But Ikidona only giving him a... Oh, very nice delayed I-84 for the kill. Good stuff by Ikidona. Finally puts one on the board. Let's see if he can make a comeback. That would be sick, if you ask me. Okay, and here we go back to the neutral. Exia has one yo-yo on the screen. Uses it to close the distance. Very nice. Confirm on the rollers. Got scooped by the top, unfortunately. Oh, and that big 2 HS entire right there from Exia is gonna get a huge amount of damage right there into the Uda 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 Roger and the hard knockdown. What is going to be the Oki's limit? Oh, very nice. Okay, he goes with the mix-ups and very nicely done by Exia on the verge of actually taking it. Idonia leaves a lot of damage. Yeah, he does a bit, I feel. That being said, here we go with the jump up uh, with the grab. Oh, and the Samara goes low. Oh, he tried to go with uh, the uh, fuzzy. Well, for sure. Oh, very nice burst made right there from Ikidon. Finally get something going on. Okay, goes for, the goes for the regular in front. Okay, he's gonna get the wall break. Okay, no. Oh my lord. Uh, Google. Hey Google. Hey Google. Shut up. Sorry, my 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 hey Google like completely. He scared. Well, she scared the, the shit out of me. <laughs> well, hey Google, shut up, please. Please shut up. Okay, anyways, you know what? I'm gonna disconnect Google. Just just wait one second, please. Oh, 
Ah. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bro, I thought you were talking to your dog. <laughs> no, no, no. If I talked to my dog, I would never ask him to shut up. I would say, I would say be quiet if I had a dog. I would never speak to my dog that way. That being said, my my uh, stream deck being a little bit uh, slow, but it's okay. We managed, we managed. So here we go with Haruki Jacko against the Wall of Faust. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, already Haruki has put their minions on the on oh on the stage. Wow, it's swole, swolly wall. And all, yeah, well, having a little bit of a hard time dealing with the zoning potential of Haruki. Haruki punishing any attempt of Wall trying to kill their minions. He's got the corner pressure, and this is the start of the downfall. Okay, here we go again with Haruki using, making a very good use of uh, of the minions to oh extend their reach to their opponent, and finally gets the kill with the Akuma ball. <laughs> the Akuma aerial ball that everybody loves. Okay, here we go with Wall against the corner. Unfortunately for him, a very nicely timed burst by Haruki manages to get the side switch. Okay, here we go. Ooh, this time around resorts to using the Scarecrow, the aerial approach. But unfortunately for him, he is in the corner. My, again, a badly timed grab attempt by Haruki. He gets grabbed himself by Wall, and Wall manages to get the, uh, the side switch. Oh, Lord, here we go with the air Haruki has got the pressure, Haruki has got the damage, no uh, bars in order to get the extension though, but it's still okay, uh, not the extension but the uh, added damage, oh lord, very nice block right there from Haruki, Haruki going ham with the uh, the scarecrows off first, like, catch it, the back dash with the overhead, good stuff, he's gonna get the juggle, is it gonna be enough to kill, uh, uh, he needs the wall break, and he got the wall break, and he got the kill, damn that was... I, I was just scared for him right there, but it's okay. Wall managed to get the, 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 the let's go. He managed to get the, um, the, the round, so it's okay. Let's see how this pans out. With that wonderful Golden Sun music. I love Golden Sun. Please make a remake, Nintendo. I would I would do a lot of, of dirty stuff if you could just promise me that 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 you could you could just make a remake of Golden Sun. That being said, we are out of bounds. Here we go with Haruki. Definitely having a life lead. Okay, finally, Haruki using the YRC to get out of the pressure wall. Trying to end, well, trying to find an opening quite, uh, quite. Uh, oh, and here we go. Finally, wall gets the opening. Uh, but again, Haruki really doing a good job of air maneuvering to get out of pressure and using one of his minions to secure the win. Haruki goes up 1 2 0. Let's see how this pans out. Is wall going to find. The necessary adjustment go with the jump from wall. Oh, wall. Okay. Kills the minion very nicely. Oh, very nice use of the spear right there. Forces Haruki to pop the burst. Just reminds me of CEO Otaku. Apologies, man. Oh, it was, man. Dirty stuff. How far will you go? <laughs> far enough. <laughs> far enough. That's all you need to know. <laughs> man, I just love Golden Sun. If they did a remake of this, I'd lose my shit. Literally. It would be crazy. But yeah, man, apologies, man. Uh, apologies, man's uh, Faust was crazy good. He killed, like, two of the best happy chaoses in the world. Like, no, can, can, do we need to say anything more? Like, it's crazy. That being said, here we go with Wall trying to do a good job of... Oh, and here we go with the fake cross-up from Haruki. Gets the counter hit and the uh, Wall... Not the Wall, the, the corner carry. No, he definitely has Wool where he wants him. Just one more kiss. The hit would do it. Oh, and the big overhead. Counter hit. And the command grab. He's going to get a nice looking red after right there. Okay, no end area right there from Wool. He still has the corner pressure. But one kill. And just like this, Wool manages to bring it back. Good stuff from Wool. Goes up one round. Oh, Lord. That did a lot of damage. Here we go this time around. Haruki finding the opening. Look at the damage already, man. Without the one big. Oh, and here we go with Haruki using the 6 HS. He's gonna get no juggle, unfortunately, but it's still okay. Okay, here we go with Haruki using the. Woo! Using the oppose from. Oh, and again with the afro juggle from. Wall catches the back dash yet again with the overhead. Here we go with the wire C. Get off of me. 
Okay, back in neutral. Haruki probably... Oh, Haruki already had a minion on the ground. Probably wool, just like me. Didn't really pay attention to it. Got scooped by it. We go on to the final round of this match. Who is going to take it? Very big counter hit right there. And the juggle from Haruki drops in, unfortunately. But it's okay. Still gets the entire air to push wool in the corner. Oh, unfortunately. No juggle right there, but it's still okay. He's going to get the infinite pressure. Yeah, you have to hold it. You have to hold it. You have to hold, yeah. The infinite pressure from Jacko. Very nicely done. Gets Haruki uh, moves on 2-0. Two, two, this is going to be potentially the final match of this specific set. If Wool doesn't find some sort of adjustment to try to reverse the momentum, we shall see. Very nice use of the minions to keep the pressure going. Wow, and that shimmy, may I say. From Haruki, unfortunately, triggers a young Faust to save daddy, but not enough to prevent him from getting scooped by the command grab of Haruki and dying in her arms. There are better, there are worse way to die if you ask me. Death by Snoosh. Oh, there we go with the uh, start of the round. Haruki operating where Wall wants to go. <laughs> exactly, man. And here we go with again the minions doing a good job of hitting wall exactly when he does not expect it. Okay, here we go with the ground, the, the corner pressure, and the big 6p wall is definitely looking a little bit lost. Not gonna lie, I would be lost as well. And the big counter hit into the wall, break into death by Haruki takes it a clean through. And this he plan to try to bring it back. Hopefully, we shall see. Then again, RF is not a very, very easily readable enemy well not enemy opponent i'm sorry so let's see how this spins out and immediate start of the round with the jumping uh dive kick and here we go with eggs oh my lord and see pp 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 get off of me very nice 5 hs right there from eggs yeah they actually deal some pretty nice damage right there uses fire oh yeah yes okay he got the wall break before getting scooped by the bomb this is thankful this is a good thing for him Okay, definitely looking a little bit better than what he did in the previous uh, set that they had. That being said, here we go with the wake up DP, man. Ooh, ooh, and scoop by the... Managed to block the overhead very nicely. Oh, no, Lord. That was really nice. Yeah, unfortunately for him, Little Faust is lurking in the dark. And Little Faust is out of the picture. Here we go with Eric's out. Oh, no, went for the command grab, but you cannot do so. Yeah, RF is definitely gonna, gonna react to this. Good stuff by RF takes the first round. Let's see if Exia can keep up the momentum though. Not the momentum, but keep up the the, the ideas, let's say. See if he can. Oh lord, here we go. The straight jump in. He triggers it all fast. So first thing, get juggled on by the meteor. And look, already a second set of meteor, man. And Exia caught in freaking zoning land. Oh lord! And here we go, death by hammer. It's hammer time. Good stuff by RF already manages to take the first match. Yeah, RF is no slouch, man. He's no slouch. This will be good. Knew it. Instant smother. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it's RF, man. It's, yeah, it's definitely no. It's not your run in the mill. Your normal run in. Oh my lord! Look at all of the bombs, man. Oh, and he gets scooped by the bomb. And that freaking air juggle. Fortunately for him, he didn't get... Oh, you can actually trigger Mini Faust with the roller and just continue on with your jolly your jolly way. I didn't know this. Like, uh, triggering Faust didn't get uh, Brisket hit by, by it, actually. If you go really, really quick over it. This is something to keep in mind. Get the... Uh, 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 what is going on? What is going on? Stop! Okay, the power out here. Okay, just one second, guys. Just one second, guys. What? And here we go with the wall break by Faust. And just like this, Faust manages to take it. Two, two, one. Ah, uh, I think we're gonna have a. Oh, okay, finally. In time. Okay, here we go. Maybe I can solve my freaking Bluetooth problem now.
Oh. One second, please. I have other problems as well. Not fine. Good. Ah, oh, my lord. A very nice order of art. I wish I could commentate, but I do. Arigatouzaimasu, Winsa. Thank you very much. Let's try it. Let's go. Oh, I'm sorry. Speaking of R, are you pleased with the announcement? Uh, you mean the, um, the uh, Rift 2 announcement? That is? Uh, so so, because I, I don't really play Rift 2. I only play, well, I mostly play, well, I only play actually Guilty Gear Strive currently. So I'm 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 happy for the people who actually play Rift 2 because they actually can get to play the game correctly now with the rollback and stuff. But it, it, for me, it doesn't really change anything. I would have rather have a Guilty Gear Strive announcement personally, but it's okay. Like I'm happy. Very nice first bait right there from RF, and just like this, he takes it a clean three. Another problem. I, what? I definitely uh, enabled banana. What the hell? Okay, so I don't need Kayana, I don't need Cyborg. Okay, this is good. What the freak? Okay, anyways, now the banana has been solved, don't worry. Oh, there we go. And just to show you, I am a banana now. We're good, perfect. Okay, now here we go with the start of the match. It's gonna be Daddy Nas against Haruki. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, here we go with the double 2k and 2d from Haruki. He definitely wants to keep Nas in the corner where he can keep pummeling him and freaking Nas pulling a Kai, a Kai strategy right there. Running from one side of the screen to the other just to grab you. And it works. <laughs> Very nicely done by Nas. Here we go, this time around he gets to grab himself. Haruki probably didn't enjoy that that much. But that being said, he's gonna get the wall break. Is that gonna... Make it in time? It did, actually. Very nicely done. He's gonna get the wall break. Very nicely done. And here we go on to the round number two. And that big counter hit with the 6 e the 6 HS actually. Good stuff. Oh, don't report. One second, guys. I'm sorry. Again, I have something to do. Uh, and the... Counter hit galore right there. Everything is working well for Haruki. Haruki going. Oh my lord, the trade. That was crazy. Oh, and the Hail Mary from Papa Papa Nass. Papa Nass, man. Definitely not out of it yet. Oh, here we go. And that very nice 2 HS counter hit. Just like this. Papa Doc brought it back. Papa Doc. Papa. Papa Nas brought it back, they had the damage for you. And here we go with another. Thank you. And on to the next battle. And here we go with Nas being pushed in the corner. Very nice then Sengeki follow up to catch Haruki out of the air. But Haruki manages. Oh, try to get out of the corner, but they scooped by the 2 HS with a counter hit at that. Very nice challenge right there from Haruki, unfortunately, causes Nas, Daddy Nas, to. Use his YRC to get out of uh, harm's way. Here we go, sandwich between the minion and Haruki. And Haruki, but my lord, again with the trade. And Haruki really trying to find his way with the 2D. Gets scooped again by the Lensing if you follow up. And the round goes to Daddy Nas. And here we go, the jump in from Haruki. Oh lord! Oh, there you go, finally! Haruki forced to pop the burst! Very nice jump in. Haruki san gambai! <laughs> wow, almost got the juggle, that would have been pretty good. Oh, but he does get the juggle, oh, but drops it unfortunately, but it's still okay. Delay, the delayed, the delayed football kick right there, soccer kick from Haruki finds the opening. Finally puts one on the board, well, one round actually. 
Here we go. Ooh, and Daddy Nass trying to get cheeky with that command grab. Oh, here you go. Yeah, Daddy Nass in really dire straight. He's got to deal with not only uh, Jacko, but with two of her minions. But that being said, here we go with Jacko. Uh, benefiting from the wall break, but unfortunately for her. Oh, he, she could have taken it, but it's still okay. She took it. Nevertheless, good stuff from Haruki. Manages to put one on the board as well. Good stuff. And on to the next battle. We go with the start of the round, and immediately Daddy Nas finding the opening. There we go, Haruki gets scooped out of the air. But Haruki currently with the corner position, unfortunately forces the burst from Nas, who manages to reverse the onslaught and the offense. He gets the, the world with the juggle into the wall break with an actual bomber. Very nice studio right there from Haruki. Finds the, uh, finds the knockdown again with a knockdown. Oh, a little bit too early on his grab attempt right there. Oh, Lord, and that 2 HS for the entire. But Nas definitely on point. Knows when to press the button and, and uh, incidentally manages to secure the win. Again with these empty loot, it has been working a lot against Nas. Oh, here we go, and Nas in the challenge, it's working actually pretty good. Lord, how look, he's just using his straight 6 HS to punish the uh, 2P attempt from Daddy Nas. Nice grab from Daddy Nas to punish at that. Wow, finds the opening with the quick dust and the Axle Bomber for the wall break. And that jump in from Haruki. Oh, but no minion to answer the call. Okay, but back to zoning time. Yeah. Oh no, you went a little bit too far. And Nas using the 2S and the 2HS for the entire F4 to kill. Here we go, Nas up 2 to 1. Very close cool matches, by the way. And here we go with the immediate start of the round. The 6P from Haruki finds the opening. Very nice duty, gets the knockdown, but Daddy Nas finds the opening with the command grab. And here we go with the air to air in favor of Daddy Nas, finds the opening, forces the pressure. Oh lord! Haruki definitely struggling to find the the, the, well, the, the adequate pace to deal with Daddy Nas, is not only his, uh, his zoning, but his change of like style resorting to not only being passive but also just running straight to his open jumping on him with alternating ah his possibilities oh almost got the juggle by Haruki forces the YRC oh and gets scooped by the two HS it's so unfortunate match point four well set point for daddy Nas let's see how this spins out okay finally gets the knockdown Ah, again with the challenge from Nas, he has found the perfect timing to press button. I would have, I would never do this in Jacko. I do not know how he manages to find it. Very nice 2 HS right now. Oh, and here we go back to zoning in. But yeah, Daddy Nas just preventing Haruki to throw any minion in the air. Oh, he uses the slowdown with the RC to two P her out of the well to stand. Loser semi-final Daddy Nas against RFR being the person who sent Daddy Nas in that disgusting place that is the loser's bracket. I'm just kidding. Loser's is the perfect place to actually test your nerves. And I think we're going to get... We didn't get... Oh, uh, yes, perfect. We didn't get um connection error. I'm so happy. Okay, here we go with the start of the round. And RF trying to put some distance already by Daddy Nas and start their zoning. Very nice use of the 2HS to counter the uh, Naniga de Ukana from RF get a clean counter hit forces the burst upon RF personally for him RF benefited from a meteor right there very nice for S right there again from Nas he gets the counter hit and the zoning uh, advantage oh lord and that dive kick man Ooh, very nice block from Nas oh, okay tries to find the opening with the jumping S oh lord Oh, and the command grab for the cheeky win. Actually, I uh, wiped that. It wasn't RF who uh, who sent um, who sent uh, Nas in the losers. It was actually Nikojiro. My bad, I scrapped that. 
So uh, this is actually the first match today between these two individuals. I do not recall whether or not they fought previously. I think they did. And I think that RF managed to win. But <laughs> looking at that, Nas is definitely putting in the work. Definitely put, uh, being very, very uh, dominant. And just as I say this, RF is starting to make a comeback. And just as I say this, <laughs> Nas manages to take the first game. 1-2-0. Very nicely done. I feel like um, Axel is not a matchup that RF likes particularly. <laughs> That being said, here we go on to the second match. RF finding the opening with the command grab, very nicely done. Oh, and gets the juggle and the reset actually with the wig. This could work either way depending on where they get in. Yeah, exactly, I agree. And here we go with the, oh, the confirm off of the 2S right there into the super Naninga del Kana. And here we go, the perfect from RF. This is a statement. You are going to have to work for this win, sir. No, oh, and the air to air in favor of RF get, gets the counter hit on the dive kick. And here we go, little Faust for the rescue. Going to try to, yes, save his father. On the sweet tune of Goldeneye. I love this game. Anyways, here we go with the 2S into the uh, standing S into 2S for the win. And just like this, RF manages to put one on the board as well. Oh lord, a quick 2HS counter hit right there in favor of uh, Nas. Almost got the jump in, which would have spelt doom for RF. He needs that setup with me. Yeah. Ah, he needs that setup. Yeah, yeah. Agreed. And here we go with Nas finding every single answer in the book. And just as I say this, unfortunately, he gets scooped by RF. And RF gonna get a pretty nice combo in the corner. He's gonna get the wall uh, break with the positive bonus. Okay, here we go with. Oh lord, the use of the immediate BRC into the quick dash. In order to open his opponent up, here we go with Daddy Nas getting. Oh Lord, no, you don't. Oh, and RF man finding the opening using the teleport from uh, from Faust. Lord, and oh, the mix, mix, mix. No punish on it, and just like this, the quick, instant dive kick from RF for the kill. Oh Lord, again with the double jump into K man. He's been working wonders. The best freaking dive in the game. Getting all the right project. Exactly, yeah. RF is a very lucky person. <laughs> and here we go, he gets the... Um, the trumpet. Okay, you can see RF definitely slowing things down. Doesn't want uh, Daddy Nas to try to get a correct read on his offense. So slowing things down. And again, with the dive for the kill. RF manages... Put one more on the board. If he secures the following match, he will win the set and move on to the loser's final. Very nice switch right there. Entire from Nas. Definitely staying alive. Forces the burst of RF. Gets the. Oh, I thought he did get. Okay. I thought it was a trumpet. It wasn't a trumpet, apparently. Here we go with the snail. Roman cancel to make safe. And the very nice entire from RF. Scoops him out of the air. Nas is getting opened up like presents on Christmas morning. Not gonna lie. Here we go with with little Faust saving his father yet again. Naninga Derukana, here we go, Naninga Derukana, and you got the meteors, man. And yeah, Nas man in to his neck right now. Chip to this. Absolutely chip to this. We are on set points in favor of RF. Danny Nas needs two consecutive wins if he wants to move on to loser's final. Here we go, the spear doesn't found anyone home. Oh, and again with this jumping 2k, the dive counter hit for extra damage. He's gonna get the juggle off of the wig. And Daddy Nas is just, oh, just pressing a lot of buttons right now. Again, you can see RF harassing and harassing Nas with... Here is the... Winner's final is going to be none other than 
Nichols Little against Takari. Now these two players have fought themselves more than more than anybody can probably count, I suppose. But they know the ins and outs of each other's character, which is bound to um, make for a very entertaining set, if you ask me. But Takarin definitely just harassing what Nikos you do with jumping S's as he should. Damn, this actual wash me so bad here. Well, he's the best Axel in Japan currently, so it's only normal. <laughs> it's only normal drills, don't worry. Don't sweat, don't sweat. That being said, here we go with Nikos Yeah, was on the verge of hitting Takarin with his Mega Fist. Oh, very nice uh, slide. Oh, but unfortunately for Nicholas, you get scooped by the 2HS. Oh, my lord. And the instant grab on the um, on the armor right there from from Takani into Nicholas. Okay, back to the neutral. He air grabbed me so much. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, he does air grab a lot. <laughs> You can see Takarin just harassing Nekojiro, knowing that ne knowing that Nekojiro absolutely loves to do slide sliding head. What Takarin does is basically just jump, neutral jump, and throw at his far S <laughs> to punish him on the. Man, I'm having a hiccup. This is not good. I might need to go get a little bit of water. Okay, here we go back to the neutral. Takarin definitely being a little bit more respectful this time around since he has a lot less health than before. Here we go with the snail, no punish. Okay, here we go with the hammer fall again with the grab by Takanin, man. Definitely on point. Uses the RC, uh, cancel to blow up the armor. And again with the grab, man. Takanin has been really working very well with this, man. Grabbing the hammer fall, the hammer fall, yeah. Exactly. And here we go, started around the far S and S. Oh, extension. Oh, Lord, and back to the neutral. And oh, this was probably supposed to be a hammerfall, I suppose. Oh, okay. No one's home. And again, this time around, the slide ahead finds the opening. And Takani has to hold on the pressure. Very nice uh, run up grab by Takarin. Again with the grab. Definitely like. Fishing for these hammerfall attempts and grabbing him out of it. Good stuff from Nikojiro. Oh, and here we go. Takarin has to hold it. Again with the 2 HS this time around. Nikojiro doesn't press a button, thankfully. No entire right there from Nikojiro, but it's okay. Oh, he tried to go for a wake up command grab. Oh my lord, and waiting for him to just land and just scoop him, man. Again with the command grab twice in a row, just like this. Nekojiro showing that he's not afraid, that you cannot condition him. Good stuff, he takes the first round. I hope I updated correctly. Takami might have taken the first match, actually. That's oh, okay, anyways. Okay, we go with the slider head back to neutral. Oh lord, a little bit too late to catch Takanin off but it's okay here we go with the jump in by Takarin finds the opening oh lord in the slider head and the midi the double midi the triple midi oh lord look at the damage where's your life where did your health go <laughs> where did your health go oh lord in the back dash on the command grab attempt attempt by Takarin very nicely done oh Oh, okay, he gets the ball. He gets the knockdown. Yeah, the, damn man, this, this dude is so on point with the grabs. But that being said, here we go with Takari manages to take the first round of this set of this match. I think not the, the set. And here we go with the grab. Ah, uh, you can see Takari fishing for these tech attempts, man. Definitely trying to condition Nikoju to take and then punish him accordingly. Okay, here we go. You can see Nikoji being very methodical. Doesn't want to overextend. Definitely doesn't want to take too much of a risk. Tried to go for a Kara command grab. Still, the punish was a little bit lackluster, so it's still a good investment, in my opinion. And look at the wrist bar! Look at the wrist bar! And Takarin doesn't want to. Oh lord! Oh lord! That sequence! That sequence was dirty, but so good. <laughs> 
good stuff from the Gojira, man. You just you steal it, man. Bring it back. And Takari just holding on to his burst, man. And I think he did good to do so. There we go with the slider head. Back to the zoning game, man. That zoning game that Potemkin players absolutely hate. Okay, here we go. Okay, Nikoji really trying to find the opening. Unfortunately, gets scooped by the 2HS. He really tries to find the opening. Again, using the slider head, but Takagi not biting, not pressing buttons when he's sensing that Nikoji wants to press the. Oh, careful with the 2HS. Okay, here we go. And the snail, the delayed snail. An instant block by Nikoji in the air made it so that he could punish it. Good stuff. Oh, Lord! Oh, and he gets the back that he gets the knockdown. Here we go. Oh, and this is death. Good recognition from Nikoji. It puts another one on the board, man. Up 2 to 0. Doing a very good job. Most people would say that this matchup is cancer for Potemkin. It is so freaking hard. But just look at Nikoji just maneuvering around one of the best Axel in the world. I I really, really, I'm just Look at him, and he's doing such a good job of doing so. Again, here we go with the slider head and the Garuda impact. Again with the Garuda impact. Just to keep the pressure on. Oh lord, yeah. No, oh, very nice air to air. Well, at least he wasn't entirely entire. Could get a little bit of damage. In. Okay, Nikoji trying to go with the snaps techniques. <laughs> the attempts to command grab off of a blue RC. Definitely working good. This time around, Takarin was on point. And no entire on Takarin, man. Just harassing him with the jumping S. Okay, here we go. Finally. And the Mega Fist for the opening, man. Oh, and the air grab, man. Okay, you can see. And the Mega Fist. And just like this, man. Nick was you on match point. Set point, actually. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, indeed. Very, very, very quick reaction for Takani to cancel the uh, H the two HS into Snail to blow away that armor from Nikozido. Here we go again with Takani harassing Nikozido man with this standing the, the, that jumping to S that jumping S. It's been doing a very good job of uh, yeah, just chipping away at uh, at Nikozido's health and just keeping him away. That is probably the most important factor of all. Keeping him away, blowing up his uh, his armor as well. But it wasn't for the hammerfall from Nikozido. But gets scooped by a 2HS. Mm, nope. By um, it's not the 2HS. This is the 2S. I'm sorry. I keep saying 2HS, but it's not the 2HS. This is the 2HS from Axel. Mm. And on to again potentially the match point. Takari needs to win three straight games if he wants to go in. Grand Finals, a very nice nail, very nice conversion. Oh, and again with the, uh, the, he notices when the Super Armor has been, has been sent out and uses the follow-up of the Rainwater to punish said Armor, man. The recognition, that's the word I was looking for. The recognition by Takarin, okay, forces the burst from Nikojiro. And the Hammer fall into damage. Here we go with Nikoji definitely trying to sniff stuff out. Ooh, gets another knockdown and he gets the command grab. Ah, he definitely wants that burst. Oh my lord! And just like this, he steals it from Takarin. A clean three. Oh, and Takarin versus RF. Who is going to bring glory back to their homes tonight? <laughs> Not that you have to, to move to come to the Brojo Cup, but that is besides the point. Here we go with the immediate startup round of the uh, 2k, jumping 2k from RF, he puts Takarin right in the corner, stuffs his 2h attempt with his instant dive. And here we go with Little Faust, saving the day, you are not touching my father. And the bomb extension, oh very nice stuff from Takarin, manages to push the bomb in the direction of RF. Well, again you can see R Takarin, yeah. Chipping away ever so slightly at RF's life. However, RF does come out with uh, having been able to 
pop, uh, make his opponent pop the burst. Is this gonna kill him? This is gonna kill him. Oh lord! Good stuff with Takarin getting the kill thanks to the wall damage, the wall set damage. Here goes a jump in by RF. Forces Takarin in the corner. Begin with the, ah, the corner pressure. Ooh, RF almost had his uh, spear out. <laughs> That's what she said <laughs> in order to <laughs> punish Tika Takarin. Oh, so far, but so freaking close. Oh, and here we go with the 6P. Counter hit from Takarin pushes our in the corner. He does benefit from oh, the little mini Faust army. Nikoji do probably lap this matchup too many to count, yeah. They even look like for them because the worst matchup at all, got to admit. See, he did struggle with the uh, neutral jump S from, uh, from, from Takarin, I feel. Uh, but besides this, yeah, it was pretty much entirely in his favor, yeah. He did do a really, really good job. Now, like, the, the, the matchup is obviously in favor of, of Axel. Anybody that says the opposite is, like, is, is being dishonest. But Nikoji definitely made it seem like it wasn't the case. That being said, here we go on to the second match by Takarin. Takarin taking the lead with one match to zero. Here we go with the jump in. Well, RF trying to really secure that corner position, unfortunately, was pushed back by Takarin. Again, having a little bit more of real estate to try to oh, come up with a strategy, but then again, uh, he, is, uh, he does have the life lead, so he doesn't really need to commit to anything, but as I say this, he's getting pummeled in the, in the corner by RF. RF trying to whiff punish the standing P, extremely hard to do so, by the way. Here we go, the Meteors. RF finds the opening, gets hit by the standing P, and unfortunate trumpet right there but RF manages to maneuver out of it again harassing his opponent with the jumping 2k man <gasps> almost got the kill by Takarin and Takarin gets the kill with the 2k good stuff okay on to uh, potential 2-0 uh, for Takarin we shall see it all depends on RF he gets the mix 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 he gets the command grab here goes the save jump, he gets the knockdown with the juggle, with Little Faust keeping everybody in check. No punish on the uh, whiff snail right there, this is unfortunate. <gasps> and RF gets scooped by the 2S, this is really unfortunate, could not keep the pressure because of the distance that the 2HS sent him out of, the 2S I'm sorry, not the HS, I keep, I keep, I keep mixing these two, mixing these two man. Oh here we go, the big 2 6P counter hit. But immediate retaliation from Takarin using the burst to keep the corner position from RF. Oh lord. And that golf hit, man. Oh, here we go with the instant. Overhead for the Schmil kill by RF. He gets one round on the board. Oh, here we go with the Nani got the Rukana. Nani got the Rukana and Mini Faust got the Rudana. Oh, again, no anti right there from Arv. This is unfortunate. He did get the weight. And a nice air to air. Oh, Lord! And the 2H counter hit. Takarin definitely gaining a little bit of leeway thanks to it. He's gonna get the army and the very quick thinking from RF. Canceling the jumping 2K into the mix, mix, mix to go over the army, the mini fast army, but just like this. Oh no, the OT was not enough to kill. And leaving RF alive is not a good idea. Not that you have a choice in the matter. Oh lord, and here we go, the burst from RF. Ah uh, lord, he tries to go with the instant red, but Takarin was just too much aware of it. Locks it and deals the killing blow. Good stuff by Takarin. He leads 2 to 0. RF needs 2 games. Three games in a row, actually. If he wants to uh, go, if he wants to, um, to stay in this, uh, to stay in this tournament, or definitely struggling there with the actual matchup, which can be understandable. Axel is never a really easy matchup unless unless you're playing Happy Chaos, I guess. <laughs> Not to say that Axel is a top tier, I think, but more that he has. An easier way dealing with uh, people, uh, characters who would otherwise be a bad matchup. And the burst 
punish right there from Takarin on match freaking point, man. Here we go. RF definitely needs. Yeah, RF definitely in bad position right there. No burst, no resources. Has to deal with the pressure. Very nice jumping to Gato. So here we go. The double. The double hammer. Oh, good stuff by RF. Uh, gets the afro. Okay, thankfully gets saved by the bomb. Gets it though. Yeah, I feel like Axel, despite being on the weaker side, has a lot of good niche matchups. Yeah, definitely. And even his bad matchups is uh is is not bad to the point where it's really unplayable. I feel uh, unlike other characters where their bad matchup is really really freaking hard. You know. I mean, like for example, I don't even have an example in mind, but I know that Eno Happy Chaos is like dirty freaking hard and dirty freaking dirty. <laughs> yeah, Eno versus yeah yeah yeah. I wanted to say this, but if I say this, I'm biased. You know, because I play Eno. But yeah, Eno versus Happy Chaos is like freaking, it's it's like hell on earth. Like, it's crazy, crazy bad. So yeah, but that being said, here we go with Takarin having the corner position. He did lose the previous round, but he is still in very good position to try to take the set. You read my mind, Jules. You read my mind. Well played. And here we go again with the sending K to punish any attempt from RF to um oh lord that is not gonna kill but oh he wants to keep the corner position well no punish on the <laughs> full screen dive kick but it's still okay oh good stuff from RF he gets the knockdown gets the quick dust he wants that uh wall break oh actually he wants oh, okay very nice use of the trumpet to keep his opponent in the corner Oh lord, ah, on his last legs, he needs to make something happen right now. Does that mean using, oh lord, using the instant block combined with the FD. On to the next battle, Nikozito against Takarin. Nikozito in the winner side, whereas Takarin is on the losers. Takarin needs two winning sets. He needs to reset the bracket and then win the uh, reset, the bracket reset in order to win this tournament. Very nice circuit by Takarin. Gets, oh, you can see, look at Takarin just annoying Nikozito with his standing S, man. Look at him, look at him, man. This is meta. This is meta game right there. <laughs> and Nikozito had it just using the uh, hammer fall. Oh, he's gonna get the juggle with. Oh, Lord, that double Lord. What is this damage? Just like this, Nikozito gets the. <laughs> he gets the. He gets the. Um, the health lead back. That was crazy, man. And careful for Takarin because Nikozio has tension now. Oh, he's gonna get scooped by the command grab. Oh, Lord, and he gets grabbed out of his hammer fall. Good stuff by Takarin. The reaction station has been on point for this man right here. Good stuff. And here we go with the flick, trying to put some distance. Oh, the slider head. Well, not trying to put this, just trying to uh, frame, frame, frame trap him. That being said, here we go with the back. Uh, Mega Fist, and again trying to find a way to keep Takarin. Oh, and timing actually the descent of Takarin with the slider head to try to get the uh, oh lord and the quick cancel of the Mega Fist into a big big amount of oh lord that 6P was gone like with the grab for the follow up and just like this because you puts one round on the board as well. I uh, very nice switch this entire right there from Takarin. Ooh, scoops hits the uh, oh lord. Oh, okay, here we go. Again with the mega fist and Takarin. Uh, really, again resorting to using the jumping S. Oh lord, that would have been crazy good. <laughs> My lord, I've never seen Axel jump so much. Okay, good, uh, good stuff. Takarin finds the opening with the meaty 2S. He's gonna get the juggle. Oh, with the Aegis, he didn't get the. Uh, he didn't quite get the juggle. This is unfortunately a little bit too far, I suppose. There you go, this slider head. Okay, this is really, really hard for Takarin. He doesn't have any bursts, any resources. Oh, again with the jump, man. Good stuff. Chotomate. Oh, and he's gonna get the juggle and the kill with the command grab. And just like this, Takarin finally puts one on the board. Good start of the round. Good start of the match for him. 
And on to the next battle. With the slider head again trying to get that knockdown so that he can close the gap between him and Nakarin. Oh, here we go. No one at home. And the bread and butter from Takarin to put even more distance between him and Nikojiro. He does not want him close by. That makes sense. Good snail. Gonna get the knockdown. And finally using the Lin Sengeki to punish the armor attempts from Nikojiro. Woo. And the finally the hammer for Oh lord! This is gonna hit probably. Yeah it is. Good stuff. It doesn't deal the kill though but it's still okay. He does have the life lead and just like this the jumping S4 kill for Takarin. Leading one round. Actually one match and one round right now. So he definitely needs to bring some magic to the board if he wants to make it happen. Yeah, okay, this is looking a little bit more already uh, like a losing matchup for for Potemkin. Not gonna lie. Yeah, this is a little bit more representative. I think that Takani probably found his footing. Probably was thinking of a way to really. Oh lord, and the Mega Fist. Here we go with the air to air. Oh lord, and Nico, you find the opening finally. Trying to frame trap the flick. With the jump in from Takarian. And you can see Nikojiru just hopping around like a little Blanca. Trying to really find the opening, the perfect timing to... To just jump in Takarian, man. But no, Takarian will not permit it. And Takanin on the verge of actually resetting this, huh? Let's see how this pans out. Unfortunately for Nikojiro, Potemkin does not have the Blanca ball to try to, to try to um, close the gap between him and his opponent. And here we go with Takanin on his really on point when it comes to whiff punishing. Oh, finally the Mega Fist for the hit oh lord ah, and again with the jump back ass man it's been working so good in favor of Takani man oh lord lord oh lord and the just the just guard man the oh lord Takani definitely on point very nice jump back s counter hit oh even with the knowledge of not using the snail because of the distance and it would have have, have whiffed. But then definitely making it. And here we go, Nikojiro using some snappery a little bit. And again with the double grab. <laughs> oh lord, Nikojiro. Good stuff from Nikojiro. Very good when it comes to conditioning his opponent. Oh no. And already with half of your life gone, sir. Oh, nice slide head. Got the wall break, but the wall, um, the knockdown, but unfortunately for him, it was a trade, so Takani was immediately uh, hit out of his, uh, well, actually hit him out. Okay, anyways, here we go, the Aegis Reflector, just bringing, oh lord, and a, <gasps> and the grab attempt, and unfortunately for him, he gets his burst baited, and punished with the dust by Takani, good stuff. Here we go with the instant overhead. And the air to air in favor of Takarin. Takarin on the verge of resetting this bracket. Very nice to keep right there. Punishes the landing of Nikozuru. Go with the slider head and the hammer fall. Nice punish on the forward Mega Fist. As you know, it is a very, very minus on block, so you can punish it. Here we go with the Lensengeki follow up. And again, the 2 HS. No one's home. Oh, and this time, Knock Knock is there. Axel Bomber is here. Oh, yeah, here we go. It had to come. Okay, the patience of Nikojin unfortunately gets scooped by Axel. And just like this, Takarin manages to reset the bracket. Good stuff. We are moving right away to 
、uh, loser,、uh, to the next battle. はい、いつでも大丈夫です。よろしくお願いします。Just going to update、uh, the bracket name. Here we go. The grand final, the bracket has been reset, and Takarin is on the verge. Is already looking pretty good, but is on the verge of potentially taking this Brojo Cup. Let's see how this pans out. Very nice air to air by Takarin. Oh, and the wake up flick by Nikoju to、uh, counter D Len Sengeki. But Takarin finds the opening with the jump in. Again, harassing Nikoju with the jumping S. Oh, Lord. Oh, here we go with Nikoju timing his. Oh, hits him with the far S, man. Yeah, you are staying on the floor. Stop moving. And that bar is getting ever so slightly. Oh, oh, Lord. Green water has definitely been working very good. Oh, Lord, and the Hail Mary for the way. Ah, a network error out there. Okay. Nightwalker. Ah, nice, nice. Okay, I'll put it for you, don't worry. I'll put Nightwalker for you. Why did it work though?、No. Ah, here we go. Yeah, that's strange. Why didn't it work? Nice English, my friend. You're, thank you very much, Suai Niel. <laughs> Okay, we got you, you. I got you, you but don't, don't worry, I got you. I love this,、uh, this theme, by the way, so it's perfect. You know what? We're gonna listen to it right now. Here we go. Here we go. And on with the Garuda impact, man. And look at the damage. I didn't look at the. Yeah, this is a freaking banger, it is. I didn't look at the screen for like one minute, and, and Takarin, like, his health is like completely evaporated. <laughs> it's so crazy. Oh my lord! <laughs> indeed, indeed. Okay, here we go with the slider head. Oh lord! Again, back to the neutral and Takarin really trying to、oh, harass Nikojiro as much as possible. Yes, slider head, we do know you want to do it, and I am going to do jump in S into rainwater to prevent you from doing so. But you can see, man. Oh, Takarin just running straight and grabbing, man. It's crazy. Here we go with the,、oh, the instant overhead using the RC. Tried to open his opponent up. I do suspect that Nikojiro went for a empty jump and into the,、uh, the, um, the, the um, command grab. Oh lord! And Nikojiro trying to snap his way out of it by using the golden burst, but unfortunately for him, Takarin was aware of it somehow and managed to get out of it. Good stuff. We'll get on to the second match. How is this going to pan out? Oh lord, and that mega fist right on top of the nose of Axel. And Axel already managed to put. Oh lord! And the command grab on wake up. Good stuff by Nicole Jr. Ow! Praise the sun indeed. You. That scared me. <laughs> This. I need to lower the. I need to lower the, the volume of that specific. uh... Of that specific、um, alert. It, 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 it like scares me all the time. <laughs> Anyways, that being said, again, I look out, I look at anything other than the screen of the match, and I have one key channel point, my lord. Well, please, you, you, use, them, use them as you wish. <laughs> and here we go with the Garuda impact. Oh no! He missed his Kura grab right there. t a k a r i n would have been grabbed, by the way, if that happened. Very nice slider hit. Oh lord, and the slider head yet again doesn't find anyone home though. Oh lord, yeah, Takani being very, very filmsy, not filmsy, but slippery. You can see that Nikoji definitely struggling to try to keep Takarin in one's place and finally finds the opening with the command grab. Okay, the summary doesn't go for a command grab. Ah, and Takarin definitely finding the. Oh lord! Again! With the BRC! Oh no, I didn't kill! No, I didn't kill! No! The magic prick show! The magic p r i t z e l The magic p r i t z e l It's not gonna kill either. This one. Ah, okay, okay. okay. Oh no! He gets him with the freaking hammerfall! Good stuff from Nikoji. He puts one on the 
uh, board as well. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. Finally, Nikozu finally brings it. Brings the sauce. Oh, Lord, that low profile of the jumping H, I suppose it was? Yeah, probably. And you're going to make a fist adequately punished by Takarin. That did a huge amount of damage also, all things considered. And again with the Mega Fist, a little bit far, not even too far to punish, man! Did you see this? This is really good stuff. <laughs> Just gonna say, a bad, a, a boo-boo world, a, a bad word, I'm sorry. Okay, here we go again with the hops from Takanin trying to hit him from afar. And the shimmy. This was crazy good with Takanin taking the lead of the round. Oh lord. Okay, here we go with the cider head. Takarin again. Oh, I've never felt so bad for Papa. Yeah, me neither. Actually, it also, he's the one who sent Takarin in the loser's bracket, by the way. But right now, it seems so one-sided. It's really, it seems so hard for him. Okay, here we go with the Lens Sengeki trying to keep Pot in the corner. Okay, good stuff. Takarin again taking into the air, man. Oh lord. Yeah, really, you can see Nikoji struggling to close the gap, man. Really, probably a little bit out of ideas, I suppose. Uh, I think it's okay. Oh lord. Oh lord! We're getting zoned out of it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, look at the damage, by the way. Hello. Good stuff from. Well, it was a nice try by Takarin trying to punish the. The hammer fall with the. Oh no, again with the gold burst too far to hit. Too soft to live. Okay, we're going with the Soul Calibur character select screen song. I love this song, by the way. Most songs in Soul Calibur 2 were pretty or bangers, I feel. You have the Jack Sparrow song in the boat that I absolutely love. Oh, Lord! Bad burst, Akari! No, 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 no! Come in my. Come in my arms! <laughs> okay, and here we go! Oh lord, good stuff from Ta Nikos, you're actually bringing it back, man! Okay, finally hits him with the- Oh lord, where are you going? In my arms, right away, sir! Oh, where is your- Where's your health? Where's your health? And again with the command grab! Nikos, you're bringing it back! In a split second, man! Holy lord, do not avert your eyes, guys, or you're gonna miss all of the action. Okay, and just like this, Nikoshido on freaking, uh, well, on potentially, uh, match point and tournament point. If he wins this one, that is. Alright, here we go with the slider head. Yeah, you can see Nikoshido definitely feeling himself. Ah, uh, trying to be Oh, that was a bad, uh, misinput. It was definitely a misinput. The momentum is definitely back, yeah. It only took one sequence, one sequence to bring it back. And here we go, Nikojiru on tournament point! Lord, how is this going to pan out, Takarin? Definitely looking a little bit lost. He had the reset, he had the momentum, he had everything in his way, but yeah, it's, oh lord. You can see, yeah, Nikojiru feeling himself. Feeling himself. Here we go with the Garuda impact, you have to hold it. Oh, with the flick! Again with the flick! Oh, lord! And just like this! Oh, no! And just like this, Nikos Yiru takes it! Hold